Hello, it's William Robson here. Um, this quick start video is something a little bit different. This model was on uh, one of the previous quick start videos. In this case, it has multiple UVs to it. Okay, so if we look down there, you can see it's got multiple tiles. It doesn't matter if you're using one UV tile or 6,000. Okay, uh, this still applies. So let's just step him up a couple of subdivision levels and make, whoops, make a paint layer. Okay. Now I've got a brush there, set it 100%, in fact set it 200 there, and we'll just paint away. And this is a typical problem that I've seen a lot, uh, that people don't realise what's causing it. Alright, so we'll be painting away, whoa, and all of a sudden that happens. And it ends up, no matter what you're doing, you can't actually get rid of it. Okay, uh, and the user uh, has one of two reactions. The first one is, um, is this user error or is this Mudbox? The second one is people screaming on forums that Mudbox is terrible and it must be a code problem when actually it is user error. So what I'm going to do, step down, and I'll show you what the problem is. What I've done is I've created some UV problems, some very common ones that I've seen a lot in the last couple of days. Okay, let's zoom in. Now the most obvious one we see is on that foot. What's causing this is that although all the UVs are inside of each tile, I've simply cut it way too fine. Okay, in this case on purpose. All right. So, as Mudbox allows a couple of pixels border around each t each island, um, so that depending on the application you're taking into, that it has enough of a padding to it. This, in this case over here, it's cut off. It won't go beyond that tile. It knows better than that. And down here, it's done the same thing. It's cut a massive area about that size of um, the padding out. And what it does basically sticks it over there and tries to bring it back in again. And that's what causes the error. All right? That's a common UV error. Now, another one that I've created here, now that looks fine, doesn't it? But it's not. You wouldn't notice till further on. In this particular case, these polygons here are well hidden. But if you needed a precision texture, you'd suddenly see, right in the corner, some red that you couldn't get rid of. If you painted there, all of a sudden it would start appearing in this polygon. Again, not enough spacing. Personally, I would say go for about 4 pixels padding. All right? uh, that's a personal preference, and it doesn't give any errors. Uh, so there you go, that, that is one of the big ones. The other one is always, always check your UVs. Make sure that you have uh, nothing crossed over. Especially the corners of mouths, corners of eyes, in between fingers and toes, places like that. Any area where you have a lot of uh, dense polygons in relation to anything else. Um, because that can cause a whole set of errors when painting as well. So, these errors here, concerning painting and texturing, obviously would also carry this through to your normal map or displacement map as well. So this is sort of a big one to watch out for and to make sure that you do lay out your UVs correctly. Okay, I'm going to pause now and I'll show you a second one. Right, this is a second common issue. Now you probably think, wait a minute, that's the mud box default human body base mesh. Yes, the difference is this time there's two of them in the scene. Now, depending on what application you're using to model, um, you may come across this problem. I've seen it a whole lot in the last 48 hours, uh, so I thought I'd better cover this just to put everybody on the guard. Um, it's especially a problem for people coming from um, what I term non-autodesk applications, such as silo, um, things like that, because you're working on a different scale. Okay, Mudbox is all about scale. Simple as that. So let's take this big mesh, which is actually the correct size. I'll just divide it up a bit. And I'll also do the same to the small one. There you go. And I've got... Right. So there you go. There's one million on that one and this one here. Right. So they're about the same. Okay. Let's just deselect it. Like that. And we'll use the wax brush. Now, if I do it up here, it'll behave exactly the way I expect it to. All right, but as it's all to do with scale, if we try and use it, and all I'm going to do here is bring the brush size down, leaving the strength the way it is, it won't look the same as it does up there. Look, all of a sudden, it looks like somebody's sticking plates on them. All right, it's sending things along the surface normals in a really bad direction. So if I draw a simple line like that and zoom in, you can see what that does. If I do the same thing on the large mesh, at the same intensity. You see, it's nice and smooth. So as I say, it's all about scale. 
um, your solution to this would be if you have this problem um, scale up your base mesh my particular tip would be as long as you haven't done too much or you've undone that using control and Z simply select that export selected after you have scaled it up all right so before we do that we would want to take this take the scale let me just make sure it's not up uh, and it's still select that one <laughs> you better watch because it um, it needs to refresh things so if you have it selected on one mesh it will do it uh, until you actually change the tool all right so you just quickly scale that up all right align it roughly in this case I'm not going too overboard okay it's maybe still a little bit too small if I tried it on here now, see on the arm, right? Step up, we'd see similar problems. Why is that? I've scaled it up because it's still remembering the old scale. So you'd have to export this out and then bring it back in, okay, at your lowest level. That will solve the problem. Now those are two of the biggest uh, ones I've seen. Uh, in the last few days, so uh, be on your guard for it. First one, always check your UVs. I know everybody always thinks the UVs are perfect, but seriously, we all make mistakes. Every single one of us, we can all screw up. So do have a double, triple check before you report a, a texturing bug or a normal map bug. If it's a sculpting bug, please make sure that your scale is correct. Okay, right. I'm Wayne Robson. I'll see you all next time in the next quick start.